Albuquerque Comic Con is in full swing downtown. Action 7 News reporter Angel Salcedo is live at the convention center. And Angel, this event is bringing millions to the city. John, that's exactly right. This is the 13th year of the event, and the organizers here tell me it's the biggest yet. Check out how many people are here. They're expecting to pull in around $3 million into the Duke City when all is said and done. But remember, two years ago, this event almost got canceled because of COVID-19. The founder, Jim Burleson, tells me there are people visiting from around the country to this event. He says Comic-Con is back, and it's better than ever. When we, when we first started, we sold 10,000 tickets the first year we did in, 20, in uh, 2011. And we've grown exponentially every year. We, we've never had this many people, and, and it's showing. And it's, it's, you know, we feel like this is definitely going to be a success for us and for the city of Albuquerque. This year, the event sold more than 30,000 pre-sale tickets. That does not include the thousands of people paying at the door. And if you missed the fun here either today or yesterday, well, you still have time. Tomorrow, Comic-Con is going to be open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., so you can drop in and get in on the action. I'm live at the Convention Center, Angel Salcedo, KOAT, Action 7 News. Angel, looks like a lot of fun. Thank you. Burleson says the event has Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies and Albuquerque police officers to make sure everything runs smoothly.